Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. After I posted my spread on Instagram, I got a DM asking me to create a little tutorial on how I drew this like mountains and trees scenery. So I thought it was actually a really good idea to show you different ways that you can kind of create fake washi in your bullet journal spread or any spread. So yeah, these are all of the ones that I'm going to show you. All right, I have my notebook all set up to show you the 13 designs that I have kind of floating around in my head. I actually have not sketched any of these out or planned it out, so um, if it gets a little bit chaotic, that is why. So first of all, I want to quickly go over where you can apply these techniques. So one of them would just be like on a spread like this. Um, this is what I did for this week. But another way that you can apply this is, for example, in a spread, if you have um, kind of like a box and you want to make it look like a sticky note or I guess not a sticky note, but just like a note, um, you can draw two lines and then make a little rip. And that is how you can use fake washi tape. And basically what I'm showing you is different ways that you can kind of decorate this space. Starting with the first design, which is a small polka dot, you're just going to need any sort of pen that you have. And I am just going to make polka dots. And I'm starting very simply, just in case you're not uh, too comfortable with this sort of thing. You can make this as easy or complicated as you want. Um, as you can see, I'm not very like precise with my placement. It looks very messy, but that is because I just cannot be bothered. Um, so after that, we are going to draw in the washi. You can also color in the background if you want um, a colored background, I guess. And that is the first one, very simply done. Okay, so this is going to be a bigger polka dot design. All right, give this an outline. I guess something else that you can also do is kind of outline the polka dots if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Um, the next one is also very simple, and as the name suggests, we're just going to draw a bunch of diagonal lines. Actually, I'm going to do, let's see, several variations. I'm going to do three variations. So, the first one is just going to be very thin lines okay maybe this won't work out too well as you can see i i did not think this through because like this is touching let's just close this off first all right second one you can make it a bit thicker And then for this one, I think I'm actually going to show you guys how you can outline it. And another thing that you can do is vary your width. As you can see, I'm just kind of alternating between the two ends. So those are three different types of um, diagonal lines that you can do. Then for grid, I'm just going to take another pen and, again, very simply draw a bunch of straight lines here and then draw lines across. You can use rulers if you want, but I'm just aiming for speed, so that is why I'm not really giving too much care about um, how perfect it is. Number five is little flowers, and I'm actually not going to use any color for this one. You just need to draw a bunch of messy flowers. Something that you can do to elevate this a little bit is draw little clusters of dots. And then I'm just finishing this off. Alright, so that is another design that you can do. 
Number six, okay, this is the more complex one. So for number six, mountains and trees, number one, you will need three different shades of gray. You can also make this, you know, um, colorful, but I find working with grays a lot easier. So I'm going to start off by doodling in a lot of jagged lines. And you can make this as messy as you want. Very impressive, right? Um, and then I'm just going to use my gel pen and outline it very roughly. And then to add a little sense of depth, I'm just using my regular gel pen. This is an gel Klena. And I'm going to kind of tilt it at a, I would say, 30 degree angle. You know how usually for gel pens you want it to um, be very smooth and not have it skip. Well, in this case, I kind of wanted to skip to um, make it look to make it look like it is kind of in the distance. Like add lines wherever you feel like works well. Okay, so those are the mountains very simply done. And then I'm just using am I stupid? Yeah, okay. Okay, you actually only need two um, colors. You don't need three. So I'm just taking my darker, this is a weird angle, Tombow brush pen. What I'm going to do first is draw the, whatchamacallit, ground. Yes. And then I'm going to take the fine tip and draw little trees. And it's basically just squiggles. I do have some like techniques that I follow just because I paint landscapes a lot. So I kind of know how trees are supposed to be, but like honestly just make little squiggles and it'll look like trees. Okay, and then once you're done, just go over it once more with your um, brush tip so that it kind of blends in. I'm just going to finish it off by drawing in washy whoops all right and then you can also do things like add little moons stars whatever you want use different materials to give it some depth and yeah that is mountains and trees number one so i'm just going to use little actually this shouldn't say mountains it's just trees sorry I'm just going to draw little blobs everywhere, again just using different shades of grey. You can use colors if you want. I'll just use this for consistency. And then what you can just do is roughly outline it and draw little sticks. And again, I can probably spend like five minutes on each washi design and make it look a lot nicer, but we are aiming for speed today. I guess um, it kind of bothers me that this says mountains and trees and I don't have trees and I don't have mountains, so I'll just draw it in. And just like that, we have mountains and trees. You can also like add little squiggles to signify a snowy mountain. So for number one, I'm going to focus a lot on leaves. You can just draw little almond shapes everywhere. All right, and then let's see. I don't have a lot of like green. Like this one is very neon and I don't want to use that. So I'm just going to use this one. And now we can outline it and draw in the details. All right, and then this looks a little bare to me. So what I do is just add in um, little leaves that I didn't color in the first place. And yeah, I think that is all good. Close it off. Lovely. You know what? That is not lovely. I'm not happy with it. 
Um, what can I do? I guess I can draw a few more things to fill up the space. Okay, yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And then for plants number two, I am going to incorporate some flowers as well. So let's see. Let's draw in some circles for the middle. And then I have this really pretty blush pink. And then this time, I'm not going to use green, I'm just going to use gray. And then using my lighter gray, I'm going to fill up the space with some polka dots. I'm literally making this up as I go, so again, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. And then honestly, just like this, I think it can look really nice, but for the sake, again, of consistency, I'm going to create little outlines as well. And yeah, I think I'm very happy with how that looks. Number 10 is cityscape. Again, a million different ways that you can approach this. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? Okay, so I'm just taking my Tombow Dual Brush Pen and creating basically rectangles. And you just do this over and over again with different shades of gray or again you can add color if you want i'm just very lazy so and ideally you want grays that are the same um warmth so you don't want warm grays and cool grays but i'm very limited in the number of markers that i have here so yeah i really want to get more tombow markers i should for my birthday probably I think I mentioned that like previously. Anyways, yeah, there we go. And then again, you know the drill. We're just gonna use my gel pen to quickly outline everything. A lot of this is intuition, um, just because I've drawn all of these things so many times before. And then to add in the details, which is typically just the windows and doors. You can kind of vary the different types of doors that you have, the shapes of windows. Okay, that's very ugly. You can also use like darker grays to vary the depth. If you are adding color to this, you can also use yellow for like lights and stuff. Just a lot of different things that you can do. And then typically for cityscapes, you want some sort of star, nice sky thing. So just draw in dots, little shiny crosses. Number 11 is going to be a beach. So let's see. I will use this very light gray. This will be the water. gonna give that a second to dry before I continue. Then we're gonna draw in the sand and I'm just gonna use, surprise surprise, my Tombow. And then we are going to draw in the very far side. So you can add in little palm trees. I'm going to add in a little lighthouse here. The only place that you kind of need a little bit of detail is the foreground, which is where the sand is. And for the sand, just draw in little dots in certain areas. And then, as usual, just simply close it off. If you're like me and you're tempted to, you can also kind of add texture to the water. Just draw a little squiggly lines. So I'm going to move away from doing sceneries now and I'm going to do a breakfast doodle one. I think most people eat like fried eggs for breakfast. I don't personally eat fried eggs but um, I think people also drink coffee. Okay, I think I drew it a little too close but that is okay. And probably like some sort of toast. I'm just thinking of like a stereotypical 
American breakfast, I would say. Oh gosh, okay, this is actually really ugly, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be giving tutorials. You probably have more like appropriate coffee and toast colors, but this is just what I have. I'm gonna also add in a background color. Probably should have done this before I outlined it, but that is okay. And then the last one is also going to be a very simple one. It's gonna kind of look like a marbled pattern. Again, just draw little blobs everywhere. Using different shades. Okay, this is a little too thin. All right, so those are all of the designs that I think most people can very easily replicate. And now I guess I'm going to show you what I mean by actually applying this. So apart from just like simply drawing this out on a spread, um, you can also, for example, quickly draw washi strip. And since I'm aiming for speed, let's do just the polka dot design. What you can do to make it actually look kind of transparent is drawing a line connecting this to this but without actually touching the edge so just like this and that'll kind of give it the look that it is a fake washi tape if that makes any sense so i hope you found this video somewhat useful and if you want more similar tutorials like this definitely let me know thank you for watching and i will see you next week bye